Hey, you guys, how are you doing? It's Kevin Sick here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today, I want to look at jobs for being a security analyst or SOC analyst. Obviously, if you do make sure to know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today, we're going to go over um, security jobs, but specifically uh, uh, SOC, which is what I do now. I just want to go over that. I just want to go over jobs and job postings. Just like a look at them and see what they're asking for right now in the job market. So it should be interesting. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go on Indeed.com and I'm going to share my screen. And then here we're going to type SOC Analyst. And we're just going to leave it alone. I'll leave it blank. It's asking me to sign in, which is totally fine. Don't worry about that. So we see about 3,000 jobs right now, which is a lot, actually, to be honest with you. Um, and let's see what they're asking for. They're asking for cyber incident response team or CIRT monitoring analyst. This job is five days on site. Uh, this is the first shift from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Well, that's not bad. In fact, it's a 24 7 environment. Network traffic, no understanding about SIM solutions, SIM alerts, uh, front response technical assistance, expertise for cyber incidents. Analyze network events. So, like, this is why it's, let me see, what's this, there's CCNA. I was about to say, CCNA is probably going to be there. So, this is why A plus, CCNA is a good certification to get if you're doing networking, because you're going to be, you're going to be dealing with networking stuff. You do SOC. Um, network plus is part of it there, too. It's very, those are the things that are very important to have. Um, obviously, you're a citizen, you get a security clearance. Let's look at another one. Let's look at SOC Analyst 1. This looks like something to what I'm doing now. Sim solution and EDR platform. Yep. Minimum quality. Yeah. So you got to tune in the false positive. So basically what that means is you get alerts that make no sense. So an example of that would be um, a customer is traveling to Mexico or they live in New York, but it says they're in Mexico, but it's actually because they're using a VPN. It's not because they're in Mexico. So you get an alert saying, oh, this guy is doing initial travel to another country, blah, blah, blah. Is this normal? Is that normal? You get an alert about that. You reach out to them and they're like, oh, Kev, I'm, on, I'm based, I'm still in New York, Kev. I'm just using a VPN solution. So um, with these alerts, you will get alerts like that. Or you get alerts with with um, an uh, email from a domain that doesn't make any sense or is a brand new domain that you never even heard of. And it's being blocked because your, 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 uh, your NDR solution or whatever you're using is like, hey, we don't know what this is, so we're blocking it. So like things like that, and also, um, with alerts could be also like, oh, someone just opened up a file, and the file is probably not even malware, but it thinks it's malware, but it's not. And then you call the end user, and the user's like, oh yeah, we use this solution every day. I'm not sure why it's marking it as malware. It doesn't make any sense. So you get an alert about that. It could be anything. So. Doesn't require any formal college education and industry experience. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Critical thinking, passion for security and learning. Oh, this man, I I would anyone that's watching today this video, I would recommend you apply to this job. If you have security plus and you have some experience with a sim solution and EDR, I would recommend applying. They're not asking for like does not require formal college education. Is this from today? It doesn't even say what day this is. I would apply to this job. If I was someone trying to get a security job. All right. Sock analyst, 15 hour, full time. W2 form, three month contract. Collaborate with level two analysts. Yep. A SIM solution, EDR, firewalls, endpoint tools. Yep. Makes sense. Initial triage term and false positive escalations. Yep. Yep. Track and report trends of security. Yep. Playbooks, you know about playbooks and detection automation. Yep. At least when you're in SOC cybersecurity, that makes sense. You should know the MITRE MITRE attack framework, cyber kill chain. Yep. You sh you should have security plus Microsoft S X S C two hundred or similar. Forty an hour, two years in SOC, two years in SIM, two years. Like I have experience with this, but uh, if you if you have some sort of experience like this, I would recommend you apply. It's obviously, a lot of jobs ask for security plus, so that's just another job right there. Um, we have another company right here. Twenty hours a week. Three months with a possible extension, paying 60, 65 an hour. That was really good. Uh, developing support of blue 
365 application, three to five years of experience in information security system development or application support, undergraduate degree in computer science. Yeah, that's, that seems like an interesting job. Uh, let's see here. This is for New York. It's a SOC 2 job paying 60, 60 uh, not 60, sorry, $30 an hour, 60K. Uh, in person, night shift, blah, 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 blah. Uh, SOC Operation Center, SOC, okay. Some monitoring CCTV systems, CCTV equipment, okay. The monitor the primary radio cha channel and dispatch of access control offers officers as needed to respond to incident service requests. Uh, one year of experience in, in center or security dispatch environment. Office, well, obviously got an Office 365 suite. Create diagrams, charts, and graphs for Excel, Word. Yep, that makes sense. Eh, it's okay. Let's look at another one. Uh, let's look at... Sock analyst here is remote. Eight hour shift, overtime is needed. Work weekends is needed overtime. Uh two years entry level. Uh let's see. Again, necessary to incident response. Yep. Perform basic forensic examinations and host and support C S I R T. Um you know, you have Splunk, Splunk SAR, Endpoint Security, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, which is what I know how to use. Crosstrike, Crosstrike, I know how to use that. Walls off, Tanium, Network Security, SWG, Palo Alto, Cloudflare, Identity Access Management, Azure AD, Public Cloud Environments to support AWS and GCP threat response. This isn't that bad. I honestly, if you have some experience in IT or you you just got a cybersecurity internship, I would apply to this job. That's just me though. Uh oh, GRC. Look at this. Look at GRC for example for for this one. Let's see. Uh yep. ISO twenty seven hundred one. I, I figured it was gonna show up. In this SOC two type two. Yep. ISO one hundred one. HDS PCI. So like. I, I done I done ISO 2701. Um I guess compliance and frameworks. Like th this is stuff they need to know. I pass our audits, I pass this audit, and I pass the SOC 2 audit as well. So I know about this. Um security incidents, vulnerability scans, pen testing, uh business continuity, disaster recovery, uh ap applying frameworks to determine risk and severity and potential impact. That makes sense. Working with stakeholders, yep, that makes sense. Probably creating documentation as well. It's somewhere around here, developer dashboards, non technical safe corridors, support awareness and training initiatives, and training the organization. Yep, I was doing this. I was doing the uh, um, cybersecurity awareness training. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of different companies that do that. So if you do cyber security awareness training, There is a few of them. No, before this company does it. I know this company, if you have money, this company does it. Um, that's one. This fish is another one. Fish to IO is another one. Um, there's a few of them that do it. ESET does it too. So some of these companies like Huntress and Security Training, they use some of these companies do security. So you pay them, and then they they give you a tool, and then you could do you could do um, social engineering training to your customers or end users. So something to think about, something to look at. Um, GDPR, yep. Dora, yep, yep. HIPAA, yep. SOX, PC, yep. This all makes sense for me. Um, okay, collab with, yep, yep. Uh, gather, ensure, return. All right, we're gonna go to another one. Looks like it's making me sign in. It's not allowing me to go to the next page. So let me just sign in real quick. All right, page two. 
incident response analysts see what they're asking for asking for server plus interesting uh first time defense using monitoring automation tools to conduct investigation classification triage all within prescribed slas yep yep it's fine run play run books play books yep makes sense uh monitoring alerts and dashboards it makes sense Monitoring ever bridge review command center. Yep, makes sense. All right, yep, car watch, Azure, GCP stack driver. Yep, again, ISO 2700, SOC 2, SOC 2. I have experience with that. Um, two years experience at NOC. So, like, that's how everyone, like, um, there are all different people that I know that got jobs in, in cybersecurity working in NOC. So, like, I had a guy that did help desk, got his A. Plus. Then uh, he wanted to get into cybersecurity, but before that, he wanted to learn about networking. So he got a CCNA, and then he worked in NOC, Network Operation Center, and then finally he got a Security Plus. So he had A+, plus, CCNA, Security Plus. He applied for a cybersecurity job, and he landed that cybersecurity job. So he's been in cybersecurity ever since then. So like every person's, I guess, every person's um, way to get into IT is different. Like we all have different ways of getting into IT. So he, that's how he got his first cybersecurity job. Um, he's asking for security plus. I don't have that. A bunch of other stuff in a degree. I don't have that. Let's see, five years cybersecurity experience in IT or OT environment, four years degree of cybersecurity. You don't know you Ubuntu Cali PowerShell, that makes sense. The mayor with with NIST eight hundred point seven one. Yep. Security plus is required. Have CISA, CISM, yep. Familiarity with zero trust and vulnerability scanning tools like Nessus, yep. Test background check, yep, yep. All right, makes sense. Um, what about this one? It says urgently hiring. Again, security plus. Uh, you know about EDR, MDR, SIM, firewalls, SCADA industries. Remediation patching hard. So like this would be like your uh CrowdStrike, your 701, maybe you're using uh managed engine, maybe using SSCM for patch management. I don't know, Ninja One really depends what you're using. Uh responding threats to MDR, yep. Uh four years of cybersecurity, IT. It's the same thing as the other one. So let me look at a different one. Sorry. Let's find a different one. Microsoft Security Engineers. Look at this was in California. All right, GISA certification, GISSP, CEH. Maybe find one that's more like entry level. Let me see what find might be like. This is senior, senior, senior. Uh, let's see what find one is. That's not cybersecurity. App. Maybe this one. Uh, system admin, software, bachelor's degree, high school diploma, GED. Uh, you know, scripting, sim, all the stuff I have. Huh, interesting. Okay, VA, 24-7, event analysis with sim solutions, yep. This is 2 p.m. to 12 a.m. High school diploma, sim, ID, IDS, EDR, case management tools, networking, scripting, automation, and active A140 certification. I don't have that. Interesting. All right, let's go to... Let's look at one more before we call it a day. So this is Security Plus, CISSP, CISM. Uh, respond to incident response and alerts, system alerts. Here's experience in cybersecurity, experience with AWS Azure, strong knowledge experience with Windows and Linux server. Security Plus, Python, Bash, Power. Yeah, this is, you have to know, you do have to know PowerShell, Bash, and Python. Like you have to know some sort of automation tool. Like I used Python in my last job. When I was doing the stock, our stock two audits, I was just doing sort of automation inside of Intune. So you need to know that. Uh, G GDPR, there's, you know, obviously there's the rules and regulations based in Europe, like in London, for example. Just an example, NIST, SOC 2 type 2. I, I just went over that and CIS, right? So again, it's asking for the standards. You should know about that. And you can do some research on this. Like if you go here and type, what is SOC? to type to compliance and like a lot of companies will tell you what it is right 
design operating effectively over a period of time, typically six months to a year to protect data. So, so does your company have MFA? Does your company have um, password policy? How's your password? Is it 12 characters or more? Uh, does your company have DLP in place? Like, do you have DLP like using Microsoft Purview? Maybe you have DLP set up using Google Workspace, right? So you should know about those things. Those things are part of the security frameworks for SOC 2 Type 2. Um, and obviously, you should know how to implement this, right? So you can put right here, ISO 2701. Meaning, right? Standards for information security management, right? So it's a, it's a it's a framework to establish and implement, and maintain, continually improve their information security management systems. So, and it tells you more about it. So, like, I'm not gonna go over this today, but this is stuff that you should know how to do if you if you're trying to get a security job, if you're trying to get an entry level SOC role, you should know about the the frameworks and the different compliance things that you have to deal with because these are things that you will deal with. You have to implement the security standards that they're asking for. And if you get audited, you will get in trouble. So you should know about PCI. You should know about credit cards, uh, data that goes in and out with DLP that includes social security numbers, passports. Um, anything that has to do with numbers is very important. Like what they, what happens to your data when it, it leaves your organization? Is it being audited? Is it not being audited? Does everything stay internal? Or does everything go to internal, external, external, internal? You don't know, right? So all these things need to be implemented. So uh, I think that's it for me. I'll stop sharing. So yeah, that's it for me. So like, like this is some security jobs that I, I looked at today and you should know about security frameworks is very important. You know, the MITRE framework, um, obviously CVEs, like, you know, those, those are things that are very important. They ask, they'll ask you cybersecurity questions based on like, oh, what are the latest trends? What are the latest hacks that happened recently? Um, things like that, if that makes sense. Anyway, with that being said, hope this helps you out. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.